fast. You can't run faster. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Why don't you two just shut up and talk about something interesting? What, like those knickers? <laughs> Dad, look what he made me do. What is going on? What's all this stuff on the floor? Stephen, did you do that? No, he did do it. He pushed my arm. You shook it too hard. I'll shake you in a minute if you don't clear it up. And you, come on. I didn't do anything. What about that? Hurt? Peter, do as you're told. Come on, Melanie, get the cereal. Turn in the place. Oh, a bloody hamster cage. Is there any tea? Yeah, I just made some. You haven't shaved. I can't get near the bathroom. That's why. Have you seen it in there? Well, they couldn't get in there last night, could they? Melanie was in there. Oh, no, we should have had hamsters instead of kids. That would have solved a few problems, wouldn't it? She's got a point, though, Bailey. I mean, not that you should have rodents instead of a family, but there are psychological limits to a domestic situation like that. In fact, rodents start to eat each other when it gets too bad. They've done tests. Oh, well, that's cheerful. So if I don't get a bigger place, I've got cannibalism to look forward to, have I? Well, that's one way out of it. Are you going to have to start as yours or hers? Mm, better eat the big ones first, make more room. Oh. Something's got to happen, I know that. I mean, it's getting serious when you come to work with sugar puffs. Sorry all over to bother you, lads. Is your station officer about? Yeah, upstairs, mate. Uh, straight to the top, first door on the lift. No, oh, I can go up there, can I? Well, yeah, go on. Tell him we sent you. Thanks. I will. Who's that? Can I help you, sir? You're off limits, I'm afraid. Well, I'm glad somebody noticed. I'm looking for Station Officer Hallam. I'll take you in, sir. Good for you. Hmm. I've got a gentleman here, Gov. Says he's looking for you. Who is he and what does he want? I'm busy in here. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name, sir. Nick Georgiades. I'm your new station officer. It is. It is. It's him. Bayleaf! It's Zorba! He's here! My name's John Hallam, and my sub, Malcolm Cross. We actually weren't expecting you today, not till the first. I was going to have a little word with the lads beforehand, but, uh, well, you've caught us on the hop. My leave day. I thought I'd bring my gear over while I got the chance. I'd like to move it in, if you can point me at a locker. Sure, the government... Uh, station officer taste lock is empty. I'll, uh, I'll take you along. Good. I'll call that permission to come aboard. Uh, do you want me to bring the gear up, Gov? Uh, Gov. Mr. Hallam's in charge until the first, but I'd appreciate the hand. It's the van by the bay doors. I'm sure one of the lads has already checked it over. Station officer's markings, all right. It can't be him. Who do you think it is? It's dry cleaner making the delivery. Mm, you got a point there, sick mate. You look right too. We should have sussed it. You know what they say. Beware the Greeks bearing gifts. Who does? That's not gifts. That's his clobber, books and stuff. You meant that! Leave it out, Malcolm, will you? Do you know who this is? Indeed I do. I'm going to move it into the yard and you're going to help carry the gear up. The king is dead, lads. Long live the king. Who's a good boy, then? I was told it had old world charm. I see what they mean. You were Tate's sub-officer, weren't you? That's right. He was a good governor. I think the lads still miss him in a lot of ways. Good officer. 
I think they'll find my style different. That's it. You want to change ends? No, no, I'm all right. What's the wall? Thank you. What's this, a prayer meeting? Go on, back to your duties. You'll get introductions on the day. Thank you, lads. See you at roll call. Yeah. Uh, sorry we didn't uh, pick up on you down there, Gov. Um, just, we didn't have a clue. We'll talk about it. Go on, Bailey, off you go. Right, uh, I'll be in the office if you need me. Welcome to Blackwall. Glad to be here. I hope you and I can get along together, John. If I can call you John. Sure. Having a quick butcher's one, we weren't expecting it. Very crafty. What did I say? Beware the Greeks bearing gifts. Said so. He's got a gift. I ain't had no gift. Go on. Well, maybe he was just bringing his gear, that's all he did. Not on your life. That was a little flyby if I know anything. I bet he's got a few more tricks and all. <sighs> See the governor's face up there? Like rigor mortis. It wasn't exactly love at first sight, was it? I don't like this. I'm having enough trouble with one governor. How am I going to handle two? There isn't going to be two, Colin. Point is, how's Hallam going to handle one? Don't tell me another prayer meeting! Let's all lift our voices in song, shall we? Or maybe we could get some work done around this station. That's how he's going to handle it. Badly. Just told us. Hello? In the kitchen. Hi. Hi. How are you? Tired. It was a long day. Mmm, smells good. Are you having company? If you're hungry, yes. You like lasagna? Oh, no, I wasn't... I didn't mean me. There's plenty for two. You're very welcome, if you're hungry. Yes, I am. Thanks. Let me change and I'll do something to help. There's a bottle of wine in the bag out there. You could put it in the fridge. You're on. So, uh, what are you giving me here? Kelly's not pregnant. Well, you tell me and we're both not. She thought she was, or she said she thought she was. And then she springs it on me she might not be. That was on the honeymoon. And now she reckons she is. Oh, didn't put you off your stroke, then. Yeah, I was, you know, shaked up in a hotel in Brighton for the weekend. Didn't fancy playing Scrabble, Kev. No, of course not. George, there are other ways of finding out, you know, apart from what mood she's in. Get a doctor to tell you whether she's pregnant or not. Or get one of them kits and do a test. And for all you know, she might be making it up. What am I supposed to do if she is? I'm married now. I've got in-laws and up the fire brigade waiting to see my kid. What am I supposed to tell her? It was indigestion. Besides, I'm revved up about it. I want a kid. Malcolm, this is delicious. Good. Where did you learn to cook? Don't tell me it was the fire brigade. <laughs> no. It's all from a book. I just follow the instructions. And well, I've had some practice. You get three choices on your own. You learn to cook, you get married, or you spend the rest of your life eating out of a newspaper. What happened to getting married? No offers? No takers. There's no guarantee you both won't end up eating out of a newspaper either. I think it's easier to learn to cook. Well, you'll have to give me lessons if you want me to return this. I warn you, unless you've got a passion for boiled eggs and burnt toast. I'm good at that. All right, I'll give you lessons. What do you want to start with? Toast. Yes, she is. Hang on. It's for you. Peter. Oh. Won't be a minute. 
Hi. Where are you? What are you doing there? Why, where's she gone? Yes, of course I do. I was just eating. Yeah, he did. Well, I'll have to, won't I? No. I'll get a cab. Okay, bye. Malcolm, I hate to get up and run away, but Peter's got an evening in town. He's booked a restaurant and I can't really say no. I told him earlier I wasn't doing anything tonight. Do you mind? Well, he's your boss. Hard to refuse. Perhaps I should start to practice. Give me some warning next time. I'll do the toast. You're on. I'll do the eggs. Sorry about this. See you later. Um, probably not. Bye. Bye. Well, it sounds like paranoia to me. I mean, you've all been going on about him for weeks. And when he finally does show, you're all so steamed up, you've got him pegged for Adolf Hitler. What is going on in there? I don't know, but there'll be murder in a minute. Will you not be quiet in there and go to sleep? Do you know what the time is? Not paranoia, Claire, believe me. I know my station officers after 20 years. We've got a rough ride coming with this one. And I stuck myself in the front row. Well, you're not in the front row now, are you? You're in bed with me. So let's forget about the station officers, shall we? And uh, you can put your good conduct medal away for uh, 10 minutes or a quarter of an hour. What a good idea. <laughs> Dad? Dad? But what are you doing here? Get back to bed. Can't I sleep somewhere else? It's horrible in there. <sighs> Melanie, there isn't anywhere else apart from the airing cupboard. What's so horrible about your own room? It's just a bit crowded, that's all. You, we'll have to get used to that for a bit. It's not that. What then? One of them's making horrible smells and then they both giggle about it. Can't you stop them? John, back to taking orders then. Not from you, Jeffer. <laughs> Come on, lads. Morning. Morning. I send you a governor. Wow. Sweet, isn't it? Chuck your leg over, see how it feels. Yeah? What do you reckon? Oh, it's magic. How long have you had this? Not mine. It's your new governor's. <laughs> Come in. Morning, Gov. Morning, John. There's a list of drills and duties for the day when you're ready. They're in the office. I'll take a look when I pick up the keys. Any outside duties? Not today, no. I thought I'd keep it clear any first day. Thank you. Right. Let's go to work then, shall we? Fireman Parrish. Fireman Parrish. Sir. 
Firewoman Stevens. Sir. BA control on the pump. Fireman Parrish. Catch me that time, Fireman Parrish? Yes, sir. Good. CP Wearers, Fireman Medest and Fireman Quigley. Uh, do you want to say something, sir, before this missile? Carry on. Blue Watch, Blue Watch, shun. For your duties, fall out. Sub. In future, I want you in fire gear for roll call. Brigade order number 373, if you want to look it up. Yes, go. If you two men want to be lifeguards, you can go to the beach. If you want to be firefighters, you can wear the uniform. I don't want to see t-shirts on this watch before 2300 hours. Get your shirts on now. Let's go. Fireman Wilson. Just to refresh your memory, if a member of the public walks in off the street, you address him as sir. If he asks you for the officer in charge, you take him to the officer. If you point and say, up there, mate, and he turns out to be your new governor, you're going to look very stupid when you find out. Yes, Gov. Sorry about that, Gov. Coming from a 20-year man, so was I. You're a driver, Fireman Green, yes? Oh, yes, Gov. George. Finished your checks here, George? Um... Yeah, yeah, all done. Just off to complete the uh, BA logbook. Tire pressures? Yeah, yeah, fine. Really? Sub? Go. Where's the tire pressure gauge kept? In the safe, Gov. So, George, how did you come by the gauge if I've got the only key? I think you better come with me, collect the gauge, and complete your checks. Then the pump driver can do the same. And if one of you is half awake and he's wearing a uniform, then perhaps he can show me the ground. Let's hope he knows where it is. I don't know what you've got used to on this watch. And I don't care. Under me, You'll do things by the book. Make sure you know it. I bet he knows it. Knows it? He is the bloody book. all but a Greek, a till of the young might be more like it. Man was slaves, not firefighters. You didn't have the pleasure of showing him round the ground, did you? More bloody questions than mastermind. Sleeping risk, water supply, pick up points. Well, we've got the training centre to thank for this. Turning out little martinets. Not so much as a tea break, because those checks weren't done. Well, I bet he couldn't pay out a box of matches. I bet he couldn't even climb a ladder. I wouldn't put money on it if I were you, Colin. Mm. All clear, let's get going. Turn the lights on. Not bad. A bit rusty, but not bad. Now I'd like Firewoman Stevens to take a drill. Sub Officer Hallam will act as safety officer, and I'll be taking part. Um, what drill do you want us to do, Gov? That's for you to decide. You tell us. Right. Um, slip and pitch the 135 to the third floor of the tower. One jet carried aloft, augment supply. Right. As detail, get to work.
Watch your monitors. Bottom here. Get it all cleaned up. Yeah, as clean as your flat. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. You're Maggie, yes? That's me. Nick Georgiadis. I'm the new station officer. Oh, isn't that nice? Pleased to meet you. Is uh, this for me? Looks delicious. Oh, I hope so. Uh, is that enough gravy for you? I can do some more. That's fine. <laughs> oh, uh, let's run a cigar. I generally sit there. Uh, governor at the top, mate. You sit there, Bailey. Don't worry. I don't go in for top table arrangements. We're a fire station, not an Oxford college. I ain't never been in an Oxford college. Oh, we'll keep that a little secret, shall we, Colin? Only I've been spreading it around, you were a Dom. No, he's definitely a Colin Kev. Who's Dom, then? I'll tell you what, I'll be Dom. I feel like a Dom sitting up here. <laughs> you look like Burke from here, Bailey. Got it. Don Corleone, you know, the what's it at the wedding. Oh, the what's it at the wedding. The godmother. No, no, that was definitely Cinderella. Or the Wizard of Oz. Hey, what's going on? This ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> You're right down there. Sewer, Jubilee Road. Two men in attendance. I want BA rig on route. Yeah, he's supposed to shout all in the shit. Funny, isn't it? Yeah, that's right.
How many down there? Uh, three. I went to put a breathing aid on, but the bloody box is locked. I couldn't get down there. But they had a spiral arm. It shouldn't have happened. Look, across, Meadows, Wilson. Get started up. Get down there, see if you can locate them. Stevens, go with this chap and make sure the manhole covers are off. I want this ventilated. Sub, get a crew and make a rig over this opening. You bet your life we're going to be lifting somebody. Yep. See that? Get the shear legs out! Put the equipment on this sheet! Set it up over here! Kate, with me! Get the right. container out! Malcolm, there's bound to be a lack of oxygen down there. Your first priority is to get them out as fast as possible. Speed, Malcolm. Safe speed. Yes, down. Wait, come on, you two. Get a move on. And get me a long line out. Okay? Is that open? Yes, sir. Do you want another crew down there, Gav, just in case? Well, yes, John. Don't get started until the take appliance arrives, all right? And John, you, you leave it. Go! Come on! Watch yourself. Unconscious, you know, I'm on the ladder. I'm leaving Kevin here to sort him out. Leave the rescue line down here. Now, Bailey and I are going to move on down the main channel. Over. Okay, Malcolm, we'll send the line down. Go on, quick as you can. Take your crew and go in by the upstream manhole. Yes, go. With me, Kate. Found the first one for your love. We'll have to clear it, Malcolm. Let's do it! You got it! Mine! All up the sled! What's the foot? It's fallen debris. Okay. Mine is dead. Mine again. One. Easy. And a little more. Oh, go on. Okay, now lock off you guys. Go on. Take him. Yeah, got it. Alright, yeah. Alright, let's stack off slack. Let's stack. Get her. Get her. Okay. Okay. Go on, yeah. Go on. 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 Easy, 
That's it. Give us an arm. Okay. Whoa. Good work, both of you. Good team. Oh, a bit evil down there, wasn't it? Do you see any rats? Oh, no, no, it's all chandeliers and paintings on the wall. What's she like? What's we saw rats? It was a sewer. Do you remember that bit of Rambo with the rats? When I was crawling all over him? Why do you reckon they did that? They got people to dress up in little suits. <laughs> How is he? <sighs> broken leg, broken ribs, might have punctured a lung, burns, you name it, he's got it. The other one's in a state of shock, but he's not too bad. Make sure you have a good wash up, will you? Not like you, Malk. You normally come up smelling of roses. In my office when you've changed. Yeah, all right, guys. He was all right out there, wasn't he? I thought we handled that pretty well for a new bloke. Well, that'll help him sleep, won't it? He's different, I'll give him that. About as different as chalk and cheese from old Tate. And John doesn't like it one little bit. Not exactly hitting it off, are they? That's because he's jealous, I reckon. He can't handle this governor being better at it than him. Yeah, he's on the ball, that's for sure. Competent, undoubtedly. I think he's gone out of his way to show us that. But you've only got to take one look at that thing he came in on to see there's a warped psyche at work there. Ah, oh, here we go. Dr. Sicknote's casebook. <laughs> yeah. Well, that bike, what's warped about it? Nothing wrong with it. That's a great bike. Go on, Sicknote, tell us. It's an environmental disaster. We lam it and you sing. No more than any other fossil-driven machine. What is obvious about it is the power syndrome that it represents. The need to overtake, to get on, and devil take the hindmost. This is better than astrology, this. All right, where does that leave you, then? You and your push bike? On a good day, about 100 yards in front of you and your poxy moped. The first thing to clear up before we go out and call again is this habit you've got of shouting orders. As far as I'm concerned, it's a bad one. With discipline control, it's also unnecessary. Keep it calm from now on, sir. Yes, Gav. Anything else? I'm going to be straight with you. I know you put in for station officer, and I know you didn't get it. And my arrival is like having your nose up in it, especially after you've been acting up. You're pissed off, and you're letting it show. Now, I can understand your feelings, but that's beside the point. Sooner or later, they're going to get in the way and put someone at risk. Now, I don't find that acceptable for the fire brigade, do you? No, Gov. You're right. My apologies. No need. I know you're a good deputy, because Tate told me so. Oh, yeah. I've done my own work, John. All I'm asking for is the same professionalism that you gave him. If I get it, we'll get along. And if you want to go up for a promotion again, well, maybe I can help. We don't have to be friends, but it won't hurt either of us to be allies. Yeah, I guess not. I think I've given up on the idea of promotion anyway. Thanks for the offer. Give it time. If you'd given up on it, you wouldn't be so pissed off at me now, would you? Come on, Mark, hurry up. Three years of Paddington as fireman, two years as Manchester Square as leading fireman, and three years autonomous. All right, sir. Sort him out, did you? What are you two up to? Nothing, Nothing sir. sir. We were just wondering how Zorba, Sigma, and everybody names back round the lot. Well, he's only been here five minutes. 
Ma seda ei saa ju. Ma need ei tea, et ta ei vaid. Ma 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 ei tea, et ta ei vaid. He can't keep up this tyranny forever, can he? I've got council duties. I'll be in a wheelchair. You won't look out of place then, will you? Well, we're starting with a bang, that's what it's oh, all about. Can. Make his mark. He'll soon settle down. Yeah, in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> what did you two find out, anyway? All I've heard's whispering since five o'clock. Three stations in eight years stepping up each time. Then two years at training centre as temporary station officer. Daft, he ate. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Malcolm. I'll try and live up to it. You've probably got different ideas, but as far as I'm concerned, we had a good day. You're a good team. Let's see if we can't get it better. That's all. Oh, one thing I ought to say. I know nicknames are common in the brigade, and I expect you've already got mine. If it's what it usually is, I'd rather not hear it when I'm around. All right? See you on duty. I think we've found a bit of an Achilles heel here. Definitely a bit touchy. Well, if it's unmentionable, that's it, innit? Mum's a word. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Colin, you're Fireman Parrish's nephew, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's my uncle. Is that why you joined the brigade? Yeah, I suppose. Never wanted to be nothing else. I'm still only probation, we know. Keep at it. If it's important to you, you'll get there. It's in your hands. Oh, thanks, Gov. Night. Night. London's truly wild creatures, which have colonized the zoo. It's the survival and behavior of these creatures. Have you had any signs lately? And the signs? What for? Will explore. Oh. No, not really. Bit too early for signs. Mum says I don't start to kick or anything for ages yet. You should be getting other things, like putting on weight around there, shouldn't you? I suppose I am. I don't know. What do you think? You better still fancy me when I do get all pot-bellied. I don't want you looking at anyone else with your moody eyes. They're what got me about you in the first place. Yeah? Kevin said you can get a kit from the chemist. Kit for what? Well, to see if you're pregnant or not. Why? Kevin doesn't think he's pregnant, does he? <laughs> Shouldn't think so. Don't think it's getting much lately. What a shame. He ought to get married. They say you shouldn't do this on a full stomach. Mine or yours? minute? Yeah, I've got a minute. What's your problem? It's not my problem, mate. It's yours. It's called knocking my sister about. She's living with me now. It's none of your business, mate. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll see one more mark on her, and I'll sort you out. Clear? Piss off. Oh. 
All right, that's it. Leave it. Leave it. Does that feel better, big brother? Let me tell you this. Any time she wants to leave, she can just walk out. But she don't, does she? So keep your face out of it. Or do you want some more? All right. He's had enough. He's never been this late. Must be the traffic or something. Something. I think I'd better call a cab. Have you got a local number? Give me a minute. I'll run you there myself, if Peter hasn't turned up in the meantime. Oh, would you? That would be terrific. He has got a scare electric. I saw him. Yeah. yeah. He told you got a scare electric. And you believed him. You're dumb. No, I'm not. He showed me in the leaflet. Oh, yeah, in the leaflet. What's he got? A paper trap. All right, you two, sit down and shut up if you want any breakfast. Any giggling, any horrible smells, I'll bang your heads together. Not there, up the other end. Breakfast is segregated as of now. You want anything, you ask me for it, otherwise stum. All right, get on with it. What stum? Shut up. Oh. Buy the book from now on. Or have it thrown at you. I'm uh, bringing a few lessons home. So where does he have to come in from? Sombre, on the river near Hampton Court. Nice place. There's a lock there. That's right. He's married, isn't he? Yes. Did I tell you that? No. He looks married, that's all. Does he? Oh. Perhaps his wife kept him at the door this morning. There is that possibility, Malcolm, yes. What are you saying? That I should be jealous? Well, it crossed my mind. Are you? Yes. Sometimes. Don't know if it helps. I'm jealous of him when I see you together. So, you're driving into work now. I seem to remember this was a business arrangement, Mal. You did your socks, she did hers. Sounds like he's getting them mixed up. I admit there was a policy of non-involvement initially. Things have moved on. You mean you fancy her now? You'll be too love-struck to take the rent off her next. Kevin! Your eye! Oh, that's very nice. Oh, should have got the pair and mashed it up. God, what happened to you? Who did it? Family business, sick mate. Don't tell me, let me guess. Yeah, it's my own fault. I went for him and had a couple of mates there. Wasn't much of a match, unfortunately. Blimey, what match was it? Oh, please. Fireman Parrish. Yes, Gov. Sub. Firewoman Stevens. Yes, Sub. BA control on the pump, Fireman Medhurst. CP wearers, Leaning Fireman Cross and Firewoman Stevens. Blue Watch, Blue Watch Shunt. Rest there, sir. Fireman Medhurst. Go. Take that helmet off, will you? I'm not interested in how you got it, Kevin, even if you wanted to tell me. But you're not fit for duty like it. You're going to visit right now. Oh, it's not that bad. I can see all right. So can I. And I can see there's no way you could wear a face mask without risking infection. Go on, up you go. Oh, come on, Gov. It's not like it's multiple wounds. What's the point in a visit? Am I speaking a foreign language here? That's the second time I've given you an order. In my office, now. Uh, that puts us below minimum strength, Gov. Get on the staff and order a standby. Tell Control we've taken the pump off the run and put five on the ladder. I'm in charge. Gav. If we hadn't noticed. I'm glad it's sinking in, Fireman Quigley. Before your duties fall out. OK, let's clear up any confusion, shall we? Who am I, Fireman Meadows? Station officer, Gav. So far, so good. 
And if I give you an order, what do you do with it? Carry it out, Gov. That's right. So if I tell you you're on a visit, I don't want a discussion group about it. And I don't want 20 questions. That may have been the sort of habit you got into around here with Tate and Hallam. But I'm not Uncle Sid. And I'm not a sub-officer acting up. In future, when I give you an order, you jump. And if you don't jump, you're going to fall flat on your face. What you got left of it? Clear? Yes, Gov. Let's see you do it, then. I take it you can remember what it is without my having to tell you a third time. You're alive very quick. Oh, you called us, did you, sir? Sorry, speak no English very well. Uh, you telephone the brigade? Ah, yes, I phoned. Now, what's the problem? <laughs> Here, please. Thumbs, sir. Thumbs. Kate, put a towel over the lady, will you? Yes, Gov. Colin, make sure the ambulance is on its way. Fireman Parish, come back to us. Yes, Gov. Yes, Gov. You'll be all right. I am going. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I expect you did. What's going on? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. There's this beautiful girl. Oh, wow. And she's naked. She's got nothing on with her boyfriend there. Stuck up the taps. What's she doing? Stuck up the tap? No, no. Like this. With her thumb stuck. Oh, Gov says check the ambulance. I'm going back. Yeah. How'd she get like that? I don't know. Who cares? They're not coming out to play, Gov. Just twisting the wrists here. They're all back to front. Back to front? Yes. Blood supply is going too by the colour. We'll have to cut them. Oh, no, no. Not a thumb, sir. The taps. Cut the taps. Ah, yeah, yeah. She'll have to go to the hospital. Colin, get the singer saw up here on the double. Yes, Gov. Kate, try and explain to her as best you can and keep her calm. Yes, sir. Could I have a word with you a moment, sir? All right, madam. We'll soon have you out. What now? Somebody gone down the plug hole? Saying it's all. I reckon he's keeping me out of there on purpose. Just as well, young lad like you. Doing your eyesight. She, uh, still starters, is she? Didn't give me a chance to look. What's going on? Ah, uh, nothing you'd be interested in. Just a naked Chinese girl in a bath, you know, eighteen-year-old, oh. something like that. Uh, just hang about down here. It's very crowded out there. Oh, I said to take bath, no play, no play. But see, finger stick up. Finger stick up. Welcome to the party, baby. Look, Colin, you've never seen a naked lady with a thumbs up the tap before. We can't ease her thumbs out, so we're cutting the taps. She'll have to get the surgery wearing them. Sure. How'd she get like that in the first place? 